Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a crunchy sweet ripe plantain for plantain chips. Join me through to this. Let's make this ripe plantain chips together. Today we'll be using a semi-ripe plantain, half ripe, not full ripe. We'll be going ahead to wash the plantain well before peeling off the back. If you're a new subscriber to my channel, you are welcome. Thanks for stopping by, you are the right place. We'll be going ahead to cut our plantain. We'll be using two methods to slice this plantain. We'll be using our we'll be using our knife to slice into a smaller size. And also we'll be using this grater as you can see. Uh, the slicer in my grater, that's what I'm using. But I'm not too comfortable with this because it makes the plantain, some of them to break. That's why I prefer using a knife to slice into small space while splicing. One of the main things that makes your work look so neat is the way you cut or you slice in your plantain. So it's important you know the one that is very comfortable for you while slicing up your plantain. Do you see? I will be going ahead to slice two of this plantain and I'm going ahead to, to use the slicer to slice the remaining two. That's what I did in this video. Do you know if you're a stay at home mom, you can do this as a side hustle and make a lot of money from the comfort of your home. Like the four plantain you saw at the beginning of this video should be around 500. Let's estimate your um, this thing should be all you should be around 500 the small king same 50 cl half a liter should be 500 or not more than 500 as a student you can also venture into this plantain chips it gives a lot of money the little thing they sell in the supermarket for 200 naira you can count it with 1500 or 2000 naira you can start this business First, I added a little bit of salt. As you can see before now, I added salt to it. I added dry pepper and I added a little bit of cinnamon powder to it for flavor. I'll be heating up my oil. I'll make sure the oil is very hot before I start to add in my plant. And I added one first to see how if the oil is ready before I'll be going ahead to add the remaining plantain to the fire. I'll be repeating this process, this process until I'm done frying all my plantain. If you are new to this channel and at this point you've not subscribed to our channel, please try as much as you can to click on that subscription button. Turn on your notification bell to know when next will be dropping another video and please don't forget to keep stirring so that your plantain will not get burnt or get brown on one side you keep stirring to get this look before i you can be able to remove the plantain from the heat as that is the look when your plantain is like this you know it's ready and you'll be taking it off the heat i'll be going ahead to use my pepper towel to spread up the plantain so that the remaining oil will dry up in the paper towel. I'll be showing you, you'll be seeing how crunchy and crispy the plantain is. You will hear it from the sound. The sound we are hearing, you will hear it from the sound. Yes, that is it. You can hear it from the sound that is very crispy. That's how it looks. Do you see? Please, if you have any question or any comment, just feel free to drop it in my comment section. I'll be ready to listen to your opinion. I forgot to tell you, if you'll be doing this for business, try as much as you can to add in a flavor to your special crepsy plantain. Do you know why? You can add in a ginger powder. Uh, or you can add in a cinnamon it gives so that you have a unique flavor when it comes to your plantain chips plantain chips that people will always want to come and look for that your plantain chips thanks for watching my video if you find this video useful like and comment to my old subscribers thanks for always coming by and stopping by to see our new video you are always appreciated
as you can see we are done with this plantain chips i'll be storing my in a container these ones i added to this water plug is just to show you the kind of water plug you can use to sell yours if you want to mine is just for home snacks what you can munch at any time at any time just to have a snack at home that's what i'm keeping mine for to my returning subscribers thank you to my new subscribers you are welcome thank you very much we'll see in our next video please remember to turn on your notification bell bye